experience uh, Scritcher's COC Clash of Clans coming at you. And right now, um, I've trained up this army. I'm not going to attack with it now, just showing you what I attack with, though. Um, today we're going to do another base review. Um, this time it's going to be of uh, my uh, good man NS. He's one below me. Uh, he is pretty good. He's a Tunnel 7. Um, level 52, although he does not have Teslas yet. Um, so, he, Town Hall 6, he must have done good maxing out. So, that's his base. Um, right now, I'd say uh, maybe send your mortars to the um, those two outside mortars. Switch them with the gold storages. That'll help him out a bit if um, any giants come to take him out. Uh, sorry about this delay right now. Uh, it's okay, here we go. So, um... So the gold storage has got about a million gold, 500,000 in each. And, well, yeah, so um, it's a bit of a lag right now, but uh, he's about 1,200,000 um, elixir storage. So he's, I think, saving up for dragons, which is the smart thing to do. Either that or to upgrade his dark barracks. Um, I think they should push Seeking Air Mine maybe right above that level 6 wall there. Um, but yeah, that's really what he should do. And he has a good base. I mean, maybe he should uh, upgrade that spell factory. That would be really helpful. Rage spells are very, very good. Um, and yeah, he has a good base. Um, army camps 190 space and got to upgrade two more to get to 200 but he's doing a good job right now um he maxed out his time six space which i didn't do i was pretty new to clash of clans and i didn't really know that, that. Uh, as i was saying before he should uh swap the gold storage and the mortars depending on his style of play if you want to win the defenses i'd say swap them uh, if loot's more important, then keep the gold storages there. Um, yeah, so, uh, he's doing a good job right now. He's at a silver one. Um, I'm gonna try and find a raid to see how he attacks, but I don't think I'll find one. He doesn't really post that many raids. Yeah, no, I don't think so. There's Kirkon and the Egg Wolves. <laughs> But, yeah, this was a good base, and I like the style, it's very, haven't seen this kind of base before, but I like it. So, next uh, episode we're doing one on Nigel Cheese 007, and so he's the crystal in our clan. So, yeah, that's gonna wrap up this one. Have a good one, see you next time.